Okay friends, the topic for our discussion is extension methods. As we know that uh, today is a knowledge explosion, information explosion or information age, whatever maybe we can say that whatever the technologies that are generated has to be transmitted to the ultimate users or the clients. The clients on our side is the farmers. So in order to disseminate the information or the technology, the extension worker acts as a teacher and the farmers or the clients are the learners. As a teacher, he has to select some of the devices or the tools to transmit that technology or the ideas and create a situation for communicating the information to the audience. So for which he has to select some of the methods that are suitable for the audience, maybe the nature of the audience or the time availability, etc. So according to that, there are three ways in which normally the communication process has been taken place that is individual contact, group contact and mass contact. So according to these three, individual contact, the sense, the name itself it is implies that it is individually contacting the clients or the farmers. Maybe it depends on the availability of time again. So there are different methods that are being adopted for the individual contact level that is form and home visit is the first one. Again uh, the form, the extension worker or the <coughs> change agent he is meeting the clients at their farms or at their home as a one to one contact, as a face to face contact and it is more uh, influential and gaining the confidence of the farmers and gain conviction that could be possible at the individual contact level. And the another method again the individual contact is a farmer's call. So the clients or the farmers they used to want to clarify some of the informations or get some information or some kind of ideas from the extension worker. He may call the extension worker either at his office or at the place in which the extension worker is available. So the extension worker accordingly submitting or sending the information or passing on the information to the farmer's call. Then another method is adaptive or mini kit trial. The adaptive trial itself is indicates the adaptability of the extension methods or adaptability of the practice or the technologies at the field itself, whether it is suitable or it should be modified or that. In order to engage the audience or the learners the, or the customers, the mini kit trial, a sample of seeds, for example, if it is a variety, a seed sample maybe of 1 kg is given to the farmers to make use of it in the field situation. That's why again it comes under the individual contact method. The another method, the last one is the farm clinic that is agri clinic. So the name itself, the clinic means it is a diagnostic work. So in depth analysis of any problems or any issues in the field situation, the extension worker is diagnosing the field problems and suggesting or offering some uh, information or detailed solutions for the problems. Accordingly, he is suggesting the techniques. The second method is group method. So group itself it implies it may extend up to 50 numbers. There are maybe small groups or medium group or large group in size. Small groups may be up to 15 and the medium groups may be up to 15 to 30 and the large group may be up to 50. So under group methods also there are different uh, techniques or extension methods or tools are used that are diesel demonstration method demonstration, group meeting, small group training, field day or farmers day and study tour or exposure visits. So result demonstration, it is showing the result or efficiency or effectiveness of the method or a technology or a variety of the field situation. Method demonstration, it is followed by a short time demonstration and it is mainly for imparting a skill for how to do a practice or how to perform an activity that is showing through this method demonstration. Group meeting itself again it comes under the different uh, uh, form of uh, group technique that is the group comes under the depends on the availability of number of uh, individuals. Then small group meeting again as I mentioned earlier it is up to 15 members and that 15 members will be participated in a training again it uh, depends on skill teaching. Then field day or farmers day, any technologies or varieties that are practiced in a field at the end of the season that is during the harvest time, the effectiveness of the practice has been sold through field day and inviting all the farmers of that area 
to show the effectiveness of the practice in the form of a field day or farmer's day and the farmers of the areas or the group or the village under the guidance of an extension worker or one or two extension worker may be taken up to different areas of different agroclimatic zones to gain the first hand information of the knowledge on the performance of the particular variety or particular technology under field situation. The last method is mass contact. So na na name itself it implies the contacting the individual as a mass that is maybe above 50 or maybe 100 or more than 100 it depends on the size of the audience. So large population that are being contacted or a group of individuals that is mass at the shortest span of time in a single point of area that through different modes like farm publication, mass meetings, campaign, exhibition, newspaper, radio, farm and home broadcasting and television. So farm publication is all the printed materials or literatures that are referred as farm publications may be leaflets or folders or pamphlets or booklets whatever the material that will be helpful to the farmers or the learners as a guide they can make use of it as a reference material as and when they are they want to refer back the information they have gained through a program then mass meeting again the inviting the people in a large group and large number of uh, individuals or the farmers like a gathering or like uh, uh, exhibition area there will be mass meeting will be possible and campaign is another intensive teaching activity through this some eradication program like direct eradication or some campaign that is uh, aerial spraying likewise some intensive teaching activity or educational activity that are being taken up in an area uh, in order to solve the issues at a single point of time and help the uh, learners or help the consumers or help the clients to separate their issues at the field itself. So the team of scientists along with the participants will take up that campaign in any situation depends on the need of the area. Then exhibition is another area that is systematic display of all the information materials related to the topic or related to the area maybe a farmer's mela, maybe a field day, wherever possible the exhibition is being conducted by the extension worker or the change agent in order to deliver the detailed information in the different form of charts or graphs or photographs or some other visuals even video shows that are being taken up in the exhibitions. The newspaper is another mass medium that is uh, number of sheets, more number of sheets. Every newspaper nowadays is being printed uh, or given information on agriculture technologies. So latest information or day to day issues to be solved or some any emergency situation that will be spread through the newspapers. So every newspaper has its own way of presenting the information may be given by a scientist or a subject matter specialist from KVK or their researchers from various uh, subject matter areas they will deliver the information through the newspaper in the form of a print and that will be have a wider circulation then other radio and television these are all the traditional like a traditional media nowadays its exploitation or use is very much limited now because they could not be possible to deliver information as location specific or site specific radio is a mass because it is covering a mass the information whatever being delivered through radio or broadcast through radio will not serve or meet the requirement of the population in the larger section. So that will be will not give any specific recommendation the area oriented or site specific recommendation could not be possible both in radio as well as in television but the coverage is totally different is overall it is an audio medium and television is both audio and video but it will also hurt the, hurt the listeners at to have a planned viewing that could be possible only in type of, type of television. Then farm and home broadcasting also nowadays being taken up in all the sectors through the community radio television with the limited broadcasting areas with the limited uh, circulations or limited uh, coverage around 50 to 70 kilometers radius only being covered through farm and home broadcasting. But every radio program they are having this farm and home broadcasting section and uh, every day they have some specific or unique programs for satisfying the requirement of audience. <coughs> Friends, again just I want to give a brief outlook on these methods. So individual group and mass methods that are just for the sake of existence. But we cannot uh, say that these are all the only mode or means to communicate the farmers or the learners. So uh, we have not a single method to serve for a better purpose. So we have to go for a combination of different methods 
and depends on the nature of the audience, the availability of time and the specific nature or the objective of the program which is being taken up. So every time we cannot say that this particular program or particular mode or the particular mean will serve for the purpose of the audience. So we have to go for combination of methods. Friends, we know at the present day situation ICT how has a much explosion. So in order to meet the requirements, we cannot uh, bold on a single lead even with the building of all ICT tools or ICT available means, we can have a combination of different techniques. So they will, uh, this depends on the extension worker or the change agents and depends on the audience. They have to go for selecting the different techniques for fitting the audience as well as their need and the emergency situation. So totally the situation, the size of audience as well as the time to reach and the subject matter coverage, everything will be taken into consideration while selecting the methods. Again, with the, if you go for the individual methods, nowadays the proportion of extension workers as well as the proportion of the audience to be reached is not unique. It is totally different. The availability of extension work is very much limited and nowadays it could not be possible to take enough all the individual contact methods. So that though the individual contact methods have its unique validity and unique uh, uniqueness, in that could be possible to influence all the type of audience in the individual contact method. But in the present day, everybody wants to get the information simultaneously which is being generated or transmitted. So we are making use of all the ICT tools that are possible to disseminate at the simultaneous time. Again, we have to think of the availability of the extension workers. So totally the subject matter, the availability of the extension worker, the time and the purpose for which the work is being undertaken is to be taken into consideration while selecting any extension methods.